We just got a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2 PTU patch. This time around is for all waves. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, this one is for all waves, which means this is potentially a release candidate for a live build most likely to go live tomorrow i'm thinking cig wants to get this out the door as soon as possible not sure what the hurry is for them but i'm sure there's something that's coming right after this one so hopefully it's something we're expecting so uh there's a few updates here features in gameplay under ships and vehicles they've increased the opacity of shield hologram uh, material on vehicle rtt self and target status mfd visor cast um, ship MFDs and HUD UI polish pass has been done and MFD and Annunciator audio polish pass has also been done. Under bug fixes, they have quite a few. They fixed an issue causing spawn closets in underground uh, facilities to now spawn NPC AI. They fixed an issue where turret names are being shown around uh, points of interest causing frame rate drops. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Uh, they fix an issue where uh, copy MFD UI may be larger than the bounds of the screen so that the edges are cropped. They fix an issue where the intended seat control hierarchy sometimes not respected between pilot and co-pilot and gunner seats. I did experience this with the RSI Zeus. They fix an issue where the black artifacts in pixelation can be seen around edges and exterior airlocks. I did notice this with the Zeus as well. They fix an issue where the Zeus pilot center chair can't exit. They fix an issue where the landing lights on the loading platform of the self land float above the loading gate causes collision issues with vehicles. They fix an issue where players can fall out of ships walking around during quantum travel. Hopefully this is fixed. This is for the Argo raft, but I did um, I used to always experience this in the MSR, so I'm always afraid to walk around during quantum travel. Um, they fix an issue where MFDs do not display or misalign when entering some turrets. They fix an issue where vehicles loadout manager has empty configurable slots. They fix an issue where the uh, thrusting WASD and using boost left shift uh, while inside any type of Avenger ship while the game's graphic settings is set to low will cause mfd to black out that's interesting uh they fixed an issue where weapon item port placement is by the suit legs at ankle length so now this is the omni afs sapphire armor flight suit uh they fixed an issue where uh the vis area issue around components near pilot seats this is for the spirit prowler if it's an issue where you're unable to select specific location inventory while uh, armor is equipped. If it's an issue where LEO hangar elevator stuck on elevator call and does not open. If it's an issue where they removed incorrect extra shield component from the Starfarer. Interesting. Extra shield component. Does that mean the Starfarer no longer has three size three shields? That's going to be interesting to find out. All right, so um, this one also comes with six client crashes, five server crash fixes, as well as a server deadlock fix. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.